Hey guys, today we're looking at a Centec infrared thermometer. It's a non-contact thermometer. It has a digital display on the back. You can turn the laser on or off. Uh, the reading can be in Fahrenheit or centigrade. There's a trigger right up front here. And we'll show you how it works. So you can see that laser pointer. So this is great for something that you want to take a temperature of might be a couple feet away as many uses uh, for when you're working on cars which is mostly what I use it for so you can pick this up at uh, Harbor Freight Tools for about $35, $40 not too expensive it's nice it has a lanyard loop on it so when you're working on the car you're not gonna if you, if you drop it it's not gonna get damaged also comes with a it operates on a 9 volt battery. Okay guys, there's a bunch of uses to help you diagnose problems with your car for these uh, infrared thermometers. So one thing you can do is you can uh, check the temperature of your brake calipers and you can get a reading on those and see if there's a problem with one of the calipers sticking. If one of them is significantly hotter than the other, then you know you have a problem with a sticking caliper. So this side is a few 20 degrees warmer, but I wouldn't call that significant. If it's uh, 50 to 100 degrees warmer, then there might be a problem. And the fronts may run a little hotter than the backs because your front brakes do more of the braking. But to uh, really test this out you should probably take a nice long ride. So let's check this other one here. And the fronts are pretty much on. About the same. This is where that uh, red dot comes in handy. You can really get some precision uh, so I can just go through this hole in the wheel to uh, check the temperature. Okay, another uh, use for the infrared thermometer is to check your radiator to see if there's any clogs in it. What happens with uh, radiators a lot of times is sediment will build in the bottom of the radiator. So what you can do is you can uh, check the temperature near the top of the radiator. You're going to want to do this with the engine warmed up and make sure the cooling fans aren't running. So make sure you don't have the air conditioner or defrogger engaged because that will run the air conditioning. And then the fans will be running and you won't get a good reading. So you can check the, uh, see here at the top of the radiator is running around 62. And I'll go down near the bottom here. That's running at 61. So we got good flow through that radiator. Okay, another use for the Centec infrared thermometer is if you're having a problem with your heater in your car. Now, what you can do is see if the uh, core is plugged by uh, turning on your heat to high speed. Turn the fan to high speed. Make sure the heater lever is all the way over. Make sure your engine is up to temperature. Okay, so what you want to do is find the inlet and outlet hoses that go into your heater core. And then the Subaru. This is the outlet hose. This is the inlet hose. The inlet hose is generally going to be larger than two. So what you can do is when your engine's running and it's up to temperature, you got your fan blowing good. So you can take a temperature reading on those two hoses and see if there's a difference in the temperature. So the uh, right here, the outlet hose is running around 135, 140-ish. And here is, this is the inlet hose. And it's running at right around 160. So we know we're getting hot air or hot water going into the heater. You know, the heater core and it's coming out 20 degrees cooler so now we know 
the heater, heater core is not plugged. So that's a good use for the uh, infrared thermometers also.